Hello, welcome to a new video, a voice video, so rare. <laughs> um, today I'll be reviewing the tablet sent by Pablo, which is the Intangible SW. Yeah, so we'll be testing it out, doing the unboxing, all the good stuff. While the unboxing plays in the background, I'm gonna name some specifications. It has around 16,300 um, levels of pressure sensitivity. It also works wireless, and that means it allows 10 hours of uninterrupted battery in that mode. Here comes the reveal. <gasps> The workspace of the tablet is 7 by 4 inches. Yeah, so it's a pretty small tablet. The tablet comes with six replacement nibs. The USB, USB-C cable. And it comes with a pen which has two buttons. And it's battery free, very important. And it also has like a uh, backspace where you can keep uh, the replacement nibs so that's cool another cool thing about this tablet is that you can use it to draw on your phone um, because of that it comes with an Android uh, adapter so right now my first impression is that it's very um, very light which is a very good thing if you really want to travel with uh, with this tablet um it's really soft well the color is beautiful well, the buttons we have a sound test we have <gasps> okay i didn't know it had a wheel so i'm surprised um i love wheels so much this is an upgrade <laughs> this is a huge um plus This is the pen, it has uh, two buttons, one smaller than the other, it says par parblo, parblo there. Uh, oh, I'm gonna make like a sound test with mm, the texture. It's really different from what I'm used to, it's more like hard. It's like really scratchy, but sounds good. The setup of the tablet is really easy. You just download the drivers from their website and then it's just like a really straightforward process. Um, you can, in the app, you can customize the short keys, um, naming the labels, changing the labels, um, selecting the keys you want. And there's also like a pre-established options. Um, the wheel alternates between three options when you select the middle button and I just left them those as they were. Then in the working area, you can change um, the rotation, which I did because I'm left-handed, so I needed to do that. And then you can change the pressure settings, which is like a very common, I mean, very standard thing for tablet settings. I left mine as like the normal standard setting. You can also change between mouse mode and pen mode. I'm not really sure what those were. Uh, the only difference that I noticed is that like with mouse or mouse mode, you could change the cursor speed, um, which is really useful um, in some cases. <laughs> then I tested the, the tablet just to see if the pressure felt right or how the, the pen was sliding through the tablet and it felt really smooth. Again, I really liked the texture of, of the tablet, like how the contact felt. That's also something really important to me because if it doesn't feel like natural or it feels too slippery, um, it's really difficult to draw. Also, the pressure felt nice. I didn't feel like such a great difference from the other tablets I've I've used, but I mean, that's really good. The, the amount of pressure that I put on the pen felt just right and accurate, and it was easy to control too. And also the angled brushes worked well, which is also you also need to like pay attention to with tablets well for the testing i wanted to draw some charms that i designed on my sketchbook well just as a disclaimer i really suck at drawing without a displayed tablet that's because i always use one it was a little difficult but like that's on me um eventually i got used to it also despite the size of the tablet which is small um it felt like a, a like a good size to work on especially if you, i don't know you have a really 
small setup, a, a small desk, for example. It felt like a really good size. Um, I didn't feel like any problems with that. The thing that like surprised me the most was the wheel. I don't see many tablets with a wheel, so that was really cool to try. Especially for the like the brush size control, that was really nice. I am a big fan of the wheel, as you can tell. I also forgot to talk about the pen. The pen is also really, really nice. I felt like it was a little hard, but um, you know, it was really light. So I, I, I am thankful for that. That like I, we love a, a light pen. Then I tested it um, with the Bluetooth version because I wanted to see how the connectivity worked when drawing. And guys, the Bluetooth mode is a very convenient option when you have like, I don't know, a very complex workspace or you want to, I don't know, draw laying down on your bed or something like that. Um, it's really com convenient for those instances or like when you're traveling, for example, and you don't have a desk or something like that. But anyways, while testing the Bluetooth mode, I noticed that there's a delay between like when you move the pen and the response on the screen. But like that's expected from a Bluetooth mode. It can be 100% accurate. It can be bothersome to some people. I don't know, that's up to you. Like it took me a little bit to get used to it. Like I could feel it, I could see it. Um, but but yeah, if you use it like a lot, eventually you will, you will get used to it. And here are the results. Yeah, very cutesy child and scaramouche charms. Now it's time for my final thoughts. Woo! Anyways, is this a good tablet? Yes. It's easy to use. It is comfortable for drawing in general. It's not like the greatest tablet of all time, but I think this tablet shines in some context of usage. For example, a secondary tablet that you need to take outside your house, to college, to your work. I actually <laughs> did the test and I put my this, I put this tablet in my college bag and in a smaller bag even. And it's really like comfortable to travel with. Like it's really light, it's really small. You don't need to take uh, the wire if you don't if you don't want to because you can use a Bluetooth mode, etc. I also think this is a great tablet for beginners because it has an accessible price and it's like a good introduction to digital drawing. And like guys, the color purple is really cute. I mean, this looks great on my desk. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I love it. It looks really cute. I, we, we don't have to lie about it. Like aesthetics are a really big part of the reason we choose products. And this color looks really good. Like most tablets are black and I'm really happy that we get to see like cutesy, cutesy pastel colors like this on these devices. Like we need more variation. So if you want to buy the tablet, you can also get 20% off in Amazon stores by using the code NATSUMIAO <laughs> and also get 20% off in AliExpress by using the code in Tangbu. And yeah, that's the end of this review. I hope you liked it. I don't get to do much videos like this, so yeah, new stuff to the channel. Anyways, um, bye. I guess. <laughs>